<laughs> I have a um, beautiful blonde hair, blue eyed nine year old daughter who is a quirky little girl, contagious laugh, funny, avid reader, and she was a blooming artist and an athlete, and she's no longer with me anymore. Um, she died of medical errors. She got a hospital-acquired infection. She was a classic case of failure to rescue, where all the signs were there, and that she was deteriorating and no one did anything. At any one time, one in 25 hospitalized patients has a healthcare-associated infection, or HAI. About 75,000 hospital patients with HAIs died during their hospitalization. In the case of Carol's daughter, Alyssa, the hospital's response was less than optimal. She was in a teaching institution where the fear of hierarchy was there and the resident didn't go up the chain of command. The organization where she died shut down on me. They wouldn't talk about what happened. They would not give me her medical records. It took the organization where she died three years, seven months, and 28 days to have a conversation with me. Although this little girl was not treated at a Banner facility, she could have been. Unanticipated events will happen, and when harm to a patient occurs, the tendency, at least historically, is to share as little information as possible about what happened, prolonging and exacerbating the family's suffering. And if we do find errors were made, sometimes we wait to say we're sorry or I'm sorry until after the legal process has run its course, which can be a very long time. As we focus on the well-being and care of patients like Sophia and her family, we are committed to creating a culture of transparency and safety with a standardized process to communicate about and resolve patient harm events, events that may or may not be due to medical errors. At Banner, the process we are adopting for this purpose is called CANDOR, Communication and Optimal Resolution. Through CANDOR, after an event with harm occurs, we provide emotional first aid to the patient and family by compassionately communicating with them about what has happened as soon as possible after that event occurs. Our staff and providers can also be deeply affected by these events. So CANDOR includes support for those involved in the event through a process called Talk To Me. After our initial communication with the patient and family, we commit to ongoing open, transparent communication and involvement with patients and their families as we truly work to understand what happened using just culture principles. We commit to make changes to prevent a similar event from happening in the future and provide the patient and their family a just and timely resolution. The CANDOR process ties directly to Banner's transformation to be customer obsessed and connects with our values, driving relentless improvement and continuously building trust with our employees and our customers. As we continue to drive a culture of transparency and safety, all of us at Banner need to be prepared to identify and initiate the CANDOR process when a serious harm event occurs. Thank you for your attention to this training and your commitment to our patients and fellow staff.